Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech where we're trying to kill a Rasselhagian noble that bugged out a long time ago but apparently hasn't left yet. Standing by. And uh, we need to work our way through a, a pair of Von Luckners, a J. Edgar, and a Catapult K5 to get there. So this is going to be interesting, just seeing if we can get through this at all. We may have to bail on this though. Because these Von Luckners are very tough for us to get through. Okay. Got that AMS working on in our favor. Trebuchet did a fair amount of damage to the Von Luckners' flank there. That is just... Insane. Yes, you are. Like, these things have an AC-10, an AC-20, and Inferno Rounds. It's just rude. Okay, we are going to sprint our... Actually, we're just going to move our Hatchetman over here for now. We're going to brace. I'm here. The Cronus is going to move in a little bit. We definitely have some heat issues, so we're just going to brace as well. Okay, the Hornet didn't do anything there. Commander. I'm going to park Sketchy up over here for AMS purposes. Receiving you. And I'd really like to get the Cicada somewhere where it's not going to overheat instantly. I mean, in here we could attack... Whoa. That was not what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to open up this. We could attack the rear, but it's so armored. Alternately, we could just pull the cicada out. And come over this way to sink heat. Which may end up being our best bet. Catapult K5 is still just running around over there. We jump the hatchetman up and keep our distance. And we fire on the Von Luckner. Yeah, not ideal. That trebuchet is doing a lot, though. Okay, sensor locked over there. We've got our AMS. That helped a lot. Standing by. Gonna walk in with the Cronus. We need to make sure that we're not gonna be too high on the heat. Yeah, this isn't too bad as far as heat goes. I think we're going to avoid firing this medium laser though, because I'd like to sink a little bit of heat. Copy that. Von Luckner backed off. Fired Inferno rounds at the Hatchetman. Okay. The Hornet did a whole lot of nothing. Aye, aye. Affirmative. We're going to keep our Javelin right here for AMS purposes. That catapult has entered the field. Okay. Dual MRM 30s. Orders. All the way over there. How are we going to get there Waiting for in four rounds? Ooh. That hurt. Orders. We're going to try to get there. Aye, aye. Let's move. Aye, 
I mean, that trebuchet is dead. We we just have to evac before we take too serious of damage. Yes, commander. They didn't tell us about the ambushing squad. That's the thing. We knew that there was going to be this escort squad, but it was implied that we'd have time to hit the cicada before they could react, and there was never a chance of that happening. Let's move. So we're going to evac. Standing by. Unfortunately, we're not amazingly quick. Catapult isn't doing anything, neither is the Von Luckner. That's good. Okay. Sketchy, get up here. There you go. We're going to keep her in AMS mode. And we're just going to try to keep cover for as long as we possibly can. It's only two evasive pips from a sprint. I really don't like that. Ready for orders. This is so far away. We need to make for this road, actually. Is what we need to do. I don't think anyone else has the speed to pull off what the cicada just did. I'm really concerned that the catapult moves in behind the hatchetman, goes for the rear attack. It did not. Okay. Aye, aye. That's pretty lucky. We're going to take the Cronus over Copy here. That. Okay. We're good. It's the only shot they're really going to get on the Cronus. So we are going to take the Javelin off over this way. Wow, machine guns hitting at that range? That's kind of nuts. Luckily the frontal armor is fine. Mm, let's see. Yeah, that's a yikes right there. How do we get the hatchetman out of here? I think our only chance... ...is to move over here. And then maybe use Vigilance. Yep. That's our only chance. And then we'll jump next round. The Catapult with the MRMs on the Cronus. Okay. That could have been worse. Losing lots of armor. Yes, you are. My orders for you are to continue making your way to the evac zone, which is in a really awkward position. Like, this whole mission has been incredibly awkward. Oh, I was afraid of that. The odds on that are pretty long, too. What was in that arm? Medium pulse laser? That is very sad. I mean, I probably should have withdrawn from this a while ago, but it's so far away. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Sumire is overhead right now. Yes, Commander. There's no way I could have gotten there, though. That's the thing. Affirmative. It was never a possibility. Like, I couldn't even get my cicada there this round. And those hits on the Hatcheman were just super unlucky. Yeah, I can't even get my cicada there. It was never an option. I 
Okay. We're going to be keeping to this cliff. I was just misled from the very beginning on this mission. I think Pathfinder is okay. And I think we'll be able to repair the hatchetman. I hope. It'll be problematic if we can't. On the move. Commander. Okay, so we're going to get up over here. This is the evac zone here. So I got there with the cicada, but there's no way I could have gotten there with any of my other mechs. Absolutely never a chance. Aye, aye. Like, why would it put it directly on the other side of the heavy lance, on the literal opposite end of the map? <laughs> of course, why would we drop in a place where our mechs are split Commander? right on ambushers? Moving out. This whole mission was doomed from the start. Yeah, your orders are pretty much to I'll chill move. up here. That catapult is trying to get LOS on us. I'm here. As is, well, everyone there. Acknowledge. We just gotta get out of here and hope orders. that it's not too awful. Copy that. Yeah, that catapult just had to take a big detour. That bought us a lot of time. Okay, you're just chilling up there. Taking a protective stance. Aye, aye. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, now that we're far enough, we can make it to the road and get out a little more quickly. Standing by. Stabilizing and bracing. Okay. Make it up onto the road. So I think we can safely evac everyone else. But the range on those hits on the uh, on the hatchetman made me sad. That was one of those bad luck situations. We were trying to withdraw. Like, everything in this mission, I feel like, has been bad luck. We got some work done, but not a lot, and it's definitely not going to be worth the repair bills. Yes, Commander. I don't think this is unrecoverable, assuming we can repair the Hatchetman. That's the big question. Is the Hatchetman repairable? Aye. We're definitely getting better distance on the road. They're probably going to just go to the Hornet. Aye, aye. But we are bailing. So let's just get up over here. Way. Double time. Receiving you. Evac point is so far away. Yeah, they're just moving around out there. That's fine. Aye, aye. Let's get out of here. Commander. Next round is the round we can get to the Going evac zone. Throttle. Not quite this round. Orders. You are going to stay put. Holding here. There we go. I'm here. The split drop definitely did not help us. The ambushers did not help. We knew that there would be a very heavy lance that we probably wouldn't be able to take, right? That was fine. But I was told that we would have an opportunity to hit the cicada before that lance could even respawn. But it spawned between us and the cicada with an ambush lance literally right on top of us. And we were split when we were dropped. So we couldn't efficiently deal with the ambush lance. 
Then we had to deal with the main lance, and we never even saw the cicada. So, I'm out of here. No way of pulling this one out of the fire. Well, let's go. Definitely not worth it. Hopefully the hatchetman isn't irreparably damaged. I would be very sad if that was the case. I mean, we did make 145,000. Okay, it looks like the hatchetman is not irreparably damaged, and Pathfinder's only injured for 12 days. I think that's fine. How much is this going to cost us, though? We did get a Phoenix Hawk part and an LRM-20. That's something, I guess. But how much is this going to cost us? I guess we'll find out. We made 145k? And repairing the Hatchman is probably going to cost more than that, if I'm honest. I mean, getting a land air mech part is fine, I guess, but... What's the damage? Yep. Do it. Okay, the Hatchman is going to take 31 days on its own. This is recoverable. But it's going to hurt. We have a financial report right now, so let's go ahead and take that. How much extra is it going to cost us to be generous? I think that's worth it. We're going to be generous with our expenses. We get plus one techs for that, so would that get the hatchetman done before the next financial report? It would not. Okay, so the Hatchman is going to be out for the next mission, for sure. The Cicada is being repaired right now, and then the Cronus. But that's only 10 days out. Okay, I think we can work with this. There's the lounge complete. That brought our morale up pretty dramatically, actually. Okay. Ode to the XO. Annoyed, Darius calls you on the comms. Commander, I'm going to need you over in the corridor between the barracks and the mess. I caught Freak Show painting my likeness on the bulkheads, and I'm not amused. In the corridor, Freak Show stands next to the mural, clutching an airbrush. Behind him, the XO is depicted flexing his shirtless, rippling biceps and abs, while flames erupt behind him. What's going on here, Freak Show? You ask? Everyone hates this stretch. It's cold and gray, so... I decided to turn up the heat. Freak Show grins. You know, some members of this crew really, really like it. Um, we'll allow him to continue, but in an authorized area. We don't really care about Darius's morale. <laughs> you rub your chin, smiling. Mech Warrior, you've got talent, so I'll make you a deal. Clean this up, and you can keep working out of an unused cargo hold. Freak Show's face lights up in surprise. Really? I've got a new piece I've been working on. I call it Mega Yang. Then hop to it, you say. Let's put a grand opening together. In a couple days, the crew gathers in the makeshift gallery for the reveal. Painted across the bulkheads, Yang leaps wildly encased in blue armor. His cybernetic arm is transformed into an autocannon, blasting an unseen foe. While the crew excitedly crowds around him, Darius sidles up next to you. I hate to say it, but I kind of wish we'd kept my mural. He crosses his arms, and you realize the XO is wearing a sleeveless vest for the first time. You raise an eyebrow. Oh yeah? He scowls. What? It's warm in here. Morale increased by five. Freak Show is no longer rebellious or in low spirits. He's now in high spirits. That is great. Our morale is actually pretty solved. I like it. So it is at this point time for us to run another mission. We are desperately going to need the funding. We can always sell things. That's not that big of a deal. But I want to make sure that we could get we can actually get some training. Pathfinder could grab a point of gunnery, and that would be a good thing to grab. Commander. 
Sketchy is doing okay for now. Striker is... I mean, he could grab a point of piloting. Training confirmed, Commander. Go for it. Okay. So the Hatchiman is going to be out, which of course means that we're going to be using the flea. Not a huge fan of the flea. But it is what it is. The cicada appears... Whoa. That's enough of that, cicada. <laughs> the cicada appears to need something, though. So, oh, we just repair this. That's fine. The shoulder and the upper arm actuator just needed repairs. It's done. So we're pretty much ready to go. However, it's kind of late in the episode, and this is the third in my recording session. I'd kind of like to not keep doing this because I need to record some X4. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and put a cut in here. It's a couple minutes earlier than I normally would, but that is okay. Next episode, we're going to run another mission, and hopefully it'll be a nice little milk run. Like maybe this one. This one might be good. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.